Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. So, over the weekend, Nigerians have taken to social media to criticize a private tertiary institution, mm -hmm. Bowen University, Iwo Oshun State, over the t Iwo Oshun <laughs> State, over a Twitter post that they believed mocked the Nigerian students in public universities who have been home for over five months, about six months now, on a prolonged workers' strike. According to the Post, this is what finishing four years in four calendar years in a Nigerian university looks like. You should be here too. Subtle marketing. What are your thoughts what on this? Join the to? conversation and call us on 081-270-53687. So Niger trust, we've discussed, uh, is, it flows with our conversation. The angry youths, the bitter people, bitter average Nigerian, you know, frustration. You've been at home for months and your parents cannot afford Bowen. They lashed out at Bowen University for what they considered insensitive. But some people feel like it's not sensitive, like they're in business and they're marketing. Nima, do you feel like... <laughs> should I let Nima rest? I should, my, uh, hey. Nima, do you feel like it's, the, it's, it was insensitive of Bowen University to rub it in people's faces that they finished yeah. four years in? For, you know, BC already said that Nigeria, the Twitter space now, they don't want anybody to enjoy. Mm -hmm. If you are eating, whatever, whatever, don't For put sure. it in our face, you know. How do you think, was it, was it insensitive for Bowen to have come out? It was. Uh -uh. Certainly was. Stating the obvious. It's like um, calling <coughs> a hungry man sitting on the road. You poor hungry man. Yeah. It's marketing, yes, that's what it is. No, it's marketing for Nima, them. no, it's different. No, 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 let's no, give us our opinion now. No, 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 if you're let's hungry, man, it's... Let's give our opinion. It's the same thing. It's our opinion. Okay, it's the same let thing. me hear you, let me so hear you. So a hungry beggar sitting on the road asking for money, I say, I won't give you this hungry man. That's, that's, all that's all the way it sounds. Bowen is saying, this is what it looks like. You should be here. And these are students who would already have taken that alternative if they had the means. It's lack of means. So there's every, in every place in the world, there's subsidized education, there's expensive education, whether we like it or not. Even UK people. We know people who are in the UK can be saying, ah, even though they're public schools, it's your private school standard. The meaning is that we can afford that. There are private schools abroad you can't afford. Yeah, mm. true. Sure you understand. Mm. So they put it in their face, sort of rubbed it in their face. They're stating the obvious. We know already. Because of the situation on ground, not caused by them, but, you know, the ineptitude of government over years. Exactly. But the people who received this news, if they were depressed before, they were doubly depressed. Mm. I would, for a, as a parent, if I had a child in university level already, I'd be struggling to raise the money. And I know a lot of parents doing who are that struggling now. to raise this money. Some people are mortgaging properties, trying to get <laughs> their children into universities. They're looking for ways. Government is not creating an alternative. Mm. They're not saying student take student loans, you get jobs, you pay it out back. They, don't, they the government are not. Why we don't have student loans working here is because government gun gun. They don't believe a student will graduate and be able to pay it back. Mm. So they are not. We are not solving these problems anyway. But when say your market, but please stay out of market since you cannot control. Like, so whatever lashback they got on Twitter, they deserved. <laughs> so uh, I am. Um, I feel like you know that your analysis. Really, you said it was like mm, this is not a, an appropriate analysis. This is like a beggar on the streets begging for food, and a food vendor marketing his food the as they pass. No. The food That's vendor it. marketed his food as, as he's passing. passing. So the vendors, the beggars now gathered and they've said that, ah, ah, you can see we are beggars, we cannot afford your food, and you're marketing your food in front of us, okay. and the food is smelling nice. Okay. No, let me, give you another analogy. Let me give you another analogy. Please help me. You are beggars on the road begging, mm. and your children are carrying plates, and then a car drives past with their own children in the car, eating, eating food. food. And then the beggar is like, how dare you have your children in that no, car? That's eating not food what happens. This that is, is what feeds... Let me explain. Me. We are using the beggar. <laughs> okay. Now <laughs> so, no, we're done. Somebody is in their car to answer <laughs> your own face. And they call your own. <laughs> and you're in the car with your children. They're eating. And the beggar's children are like, please, can you give us some? And they say... And once the beggar mouth, they say, oh, no. uh, that's, that's, not the same. that's what happens. That's not the idea. Are you saying Bowen has not been... No I'm coming away. Wait, let's, let's break it. Okay. Are we saying Bowen has not been in existence and they've not been marketing and they they've not been making been. money? They have been. Do they have to do that tweet at this time as well as been on over six months strike? Does it, it, does it is rubbing in the face. Whether you like to... Let me hear I, No, you're entitled to your opinion. I want yeah. to answer you on the other one. <laughs> you're walking your food. <laughs> and the beggar is not give the beggar. The beggar is very angry. What he will do is tip your leg. You will throw away with your food. That's bad belly. Hey, but it's the bad belly too. That's your food. So, so Nima, you said Nima something. Nima was wrong yeah. with that analogy. Yes, you were wrong. Because they did not say that the people of 
the Asu children went come to Bowen, me. and then Bowen said, "No, we have closed our gates against you. You cannot come." They are even saying, that they cannot afford." Mm, they are saying, "Come." Oh, that's what they are saying. This is and where you should so be. Much, yes, I it's about affordability. I get, it's I, about I, means. I, mm, I get ah, that, yeah, but I will knowledge. tell you that when I was going to school, I went to ABU Zaria. There were people in that school that could have afforded to go abroad. Mm. There were people in that school that chose that school because they felt it was better school. There's a list of um, best universities in Nigeria that just came out. Unilag came number but one, there are people who will put their children in Unilag over a bow and a private school, a uh, private university. So it's not just about means. I know that's a valid point that you made, but that's not the only reason why some people are in some schools. Valid. It's because there's pedigree, whether we like it valid. or not, federal yeah, universities. Mm -hmm. And so people will, will, will study be there. In a Good. University. So when Bowen says okay. this is how to sell, they are selling to those who had made a choice, who can make that choice of being in a, in a federal school but going through these issues because of government ineptitude and can afford to go there. And they're saying, see, every university is out there selling their market. Who knows if <coughs> Bowen has been selling this market for many years, but you, you just saw it this year. Because, because this expensive. year, six months down the line, you're still at home. If you had checked them last year and they had used the same thing, you wouldn't ha it wouldn't have made any sense to you. But for me, the one that even gets to me is that how sad for us, really. Because when you look at, when you look at schools abroad, when they're selling themselves, they're selling themselves on maybe innovative courses that mm. have never been done anywhere else before, or the fact of many years of doing amazing things, but we are just using four years to get out of school. I think that's, the, that's, that's, that's our requirement to be in a better school. That's what makes me sad. Really, that if you are going to be a competitor and opposition, all you have to offer Nigerian students is to finish in four years. No That's it. BC, um, Nima obviously read the same tweet and <laughs> got a different communication. <laughs> you know, you know, we say this. That's what I said about <laughs> communication. Communication. The so encoder uh -uh. and the decoder. Said, how <laughs> the news was received mm. versus what was <laughs> actually <laughs> meant. Mm. So, and this is the way it is yeah. every time. So how do we, yes. what's this? So, um, it's very important that when you are encoding mm. a message, mm -hmm. you will take cognizance of all the possible decoders of that message. Wow. Yes. And even in marketing, I'm doing a course on marketing now, you need to be, take cognizance of the sensibilities of the times that you are passing that message. <laughs> However the intention is, you see this thing that is called intention, mm. we cannot see it. Mm. We don't know it. It's the way we receive what you have given to us that will tell us the intention you are meaning. And in one message, we can have 15 different intentions mm. read into that particular message. Yeah. Now, to be in a climb like Nigeria, where you are aware, it's obvious that the government has failed the public institution. That's a cliche. If you were abroad, you can be sued for that. Hey. Yes, marketing. This is I'm talking marketing now. Bread, this is cost, cost now. Exactly. Done. You so can be sued for that. Price. People can people can take it that you are not sensible to the pains they are feeling Price. in marketing your market. Wow, we so we need down. to be very yes. See, you didn't need to state it. We already know. Abi. People seeing a Bowen or other schools graduating in four it's years really already good. know. Parents are already crying and saying, how oh, can I get wow. my children? They have cousins yes. in their families who have gotten into school four years and graduated in four years. They already know. At the times that we are, you see, <laughs> everything has to do with being um, able to show empathy. Mm. Sometimes Important. somebody dies and I'm supposed to post market. Mm. I sell hairs and I'm supposed to post on my page. And because everybody's talking about something that has happened, I postpone that post for the day. You know why? Sensitive. I'm trying to be sensitive. Even if the person is not my relation or my friend, I'm just trying to be sensible to what people are feeling around me. I could feel, ah, you know, consign me now. Let me go move on and sell my market. Yeah. But because I'm paying attention to the needs and the feelings of the people, and that is why we need to hold each other um, accountable. What if you did not know the person? That That's is? a different thing. And you I don't. Come on, and ask <laughs> come and attack you. Uh, and say, uh, you post this when then somebody I can, just you hold, died. You hold on. Then I can apologize because I did not know. Yeah, like I, I said, is is I don't have a I have a problem with people attacking. Mm. Okay, mm. I could have read that tweet I and know. moved on yeah. and gone to cry in my room. That eh, now them. We get oh. money to go to that school. God, yeah, help me to so no. that my parents can send Where me to the no. school. Mm. It boils down to the anger we are talking about. Everybody's mm. just looking for an opportunity to vent that anger. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't solve the problem. But for those people who are marketing, they also need to take the feedback. 
observe the sensibilities of the people in your area. Very important for marketing. You and know that Bowen could have done a counter for marketing mm -hmm. for the first time. been very consistent with opponents. this uh, emotional intelligence matter. You know, when we, <laughs> when we discuss <laughs> them, what's it called? And uh, discuss them, the university, Harvard. Yeah. Harvard situation. We still, we, we sort of came around this point and yes. we got a reaction. Mm -hmm. so the reaction we got was, the speaker apologized. Yes. He said that this was a wrong time mm -hmm. for what I did. Thank I you know for remembering it might that. seem like I'm helping you, no, but no, I'm no, just no, no, covering no. Please, I'm, please, I'm please, 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 my please, please, No, Mariam, respond. What? <laughs> no, I'm just balancing. Look at that is the politician in the political class that is supposed to be in charge of making sure Asu is successful. Mm -hmm. What did Bowen do? Did Bowen keep people at home for six months? No, but let Bowen me tell is you, in let Nigeria. me explain to you. Let me explain to you. So when people are making the choice, maybe people are being invested too long, you do not remember the, you're too old, you can't remember what it took to make the decision to go to the university that you went to. There were so many, please. there were just so many <laughs> things that, factors that have come to play. First yeah. of all, is the course that you want to study. Yeah. Second, it may be proximity to where you stay. Mm. Third, whether we like it or not today is about security and insecurity. Yes. So these are the different factors that affect, that um, play in making a choice of university. Whether we like it or not, there are some parents thinking, okay, the schools have been shut for now. Should I send my child abroad mm -hmm. right True. now? Or should I send him to a Bowen? Oh, there's a Bowen. And I'm sure that that child will finish in four years. Mm -hmm. Bowen can be talking to different people. Yes. We're not saying the you. same thing, yes. No, we're not saying the same thing. No, I'm not saying, no, we're not saying the same thing. Because I'm not saying, Bowen is not being insensitive. Mm. Bowen is taking... Um, cognizance of, the of challenges. the challenges right now and is providing parents another way out. Mm -mm. So that's what I'm going to say. Bowen is not looking Bowen is not looking Bowen is not looking, Bowen is not looking at the children and saying, oh my God, it's not to dance on their heads. If he was doing that, it would not allow any child that has been in a regular university to apply for their university. That's not yeah, what they're saying. Let's take a break. Let's take a break. Let's take a break. We'll take a quick break. Everybody drink your tea, drink your coffee. When we come back, we continue the conversation. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. Don't worry, we did not calm down during the break. We're still arguing <laughs> all through. But I'm going to give them assignments to read tweets for now. <laughs> and we're talking, we're we talking about tweets. the emotional mm -hmm. states of many of Nigerian children, <coughs> students who have been at home for almost six months, who feel disgruntled, like this leadership isn't serving us. Um, ASU and the federal government haven't been able to get to a point, and then they now read a tweet from Bowen. Now, whether Bowen meant to communicate, um, meant to communicate was different from what was received, many Nigerian youths on social media, on Twitter, received a feeling of, you are rubbing the strike in our faces, you are rubbing us challenges in our faces, and they lashed out at Bowen. How do we, this topic is very related to communication. <coughs> How do we effectively communicate? How can you be in a place? Like I'm seeing, I see people doing well and I will not feel bad that I'm currently in a challenging situation. How do we raise our children, our students, our people, young people to, re, to increase a level of resilience that they will yeah. go through the challenge oh, and understand that let, let me ask this is a this tough time for everybody. This made a really strong long. point on sensitivity. It's good to raise resilient children. And you better give it or not. Genetically, we are resilient people but as Nigerians. Yes, we are. But are we... Emotionally intelligent people, yeah, genetically, no. Are we sensible people, sensitive to other people's condition? No, we have to learn that. Yeah, Bowen should be teaching that as, a, as an institution. Bowen should not be rubbing in the face of the more... How I'm telling you, they did something counterproductive. Wow. If, I were, if I were someone who could afford a private university, Bowen would be my last choice for what they just tweeted. Wow. A fact. Okay, so Nima, you know, during the this break, I mentioned I your this hijab. Is what, this is Somebody what. can look at your hijab that is and shining. And I will turn it and down. The I will, will turn say... the other edge. Let me explain to you. <laughs> wow. I come from a faith where the Professor Aslam preach. Do not rob food in the face of a hungry man mm. if you can afford it. He says, do not go to bed, no matter how rich you are. There will be a level of accountability if your neighbor goes to bed hungry. hungry. It shows you do not care. That's where I'm from. Yeah. And from the faith where you have a child, you don't rob, oh, my child, my child, in the face of a person waiting on God. Mm. And from a place where it is taught to be sensitive. So I cannot understand what Bowen tweeted. Mm. I have cousins, younger cousins, who presently, we, we advise their parents, these are the best schools 
the federal schools, they put their children in universities, and they took them out and put them in private universities. Go in one of them. But right now, I'm sitting here, so if I have the means, I'll call my cousins in Abuja, take her out, <laughs> put her in another school where she'll be taught I... not to be proud. Mm. Listen, whether we like it or not, want to balance it, they're selling their market. Mm. But they've robbed it in people's faces. And the larger number of people, the largest number of Nigerians, are those who cannot afford a private university. I because hear you. I was in a state university. I want to tell you a bit of history. I held positions. Educates me. And I had to raise fees. I am a child whose father, once he gets his pension, puts my fees in my account. So I didn't have any <coughs> business raising fees for students. If I didn't go out on a particular day, a friend of mine would not have been called today. I raised this law school fees. Mm. But once in conversation, I was saying, I, I, raised, I got um, attacked by a police officer asking for uh, money from the bus I took at night. I was coming back from where I went to raise that fund at 10 o'clock on my way at that Gondo Bridge, and somebody shot at the bus. And I said, I didn't, because I felt they didn't understand what I went through. Mm. And I lost it, and I said, I didn't have to be in that bus. My fees were fully paid. Mm. Somebody took it and said, Unik Beraga, and she went, and I apologized. I had to do that. Mm. Because I just mm. hit something uh, uh, in her. She's from a, we call them uh, indigent students. She's from a min minimum background. She didn't have the privileges I had. There's nothing wrong with being sensitive to other people's plights. Forget what Asu is putting So let me, let, me, let me take Kinsley. And then we'll come to... Me. I'm waiting. <laughs> Please come back. Please leave. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Do we have Kinsley on the phone? Welcome to the show. Good morning. Oh, I don't think we have Kinsley there. Yes. Right. So um, I wanted to say that... I've mentioned it before, and one of the reasons I want to highlight it is when you do something, however the intention, and you get a feedback that tells you you may have missed something, if your intention mm. was pure, you would apologize. Mm. You would I say, agree. wow, that was not how I saw it. You forget that people see life from different perspectives. A woman who's sitting at home and the child hasn't been to school in how many months, we read that message differently. I will read it differently. I didn't see anything wrong in it. But because of the sensitivity of our times, I understood where the people getting upset is come, where they're coming from. Secondly, we need to deal with how we uh, show anger and find ways to channel that anger to the appropriate authorities. So the scripture says, be angry, but do not sin. Mm -hmm. So it's okay to have that feeling, but what do you do with the feeling? Now, how do you channel that conversation? Are you going to attack a private business, a private university for doing their marketing? You can call them out, okay, this was just so insensitive of you guys, but they are not your problem. Mm. If your government has fixed your schools, you will not have a problem with private people who are doing their business. So let us find a way to channel that anger. So a lot of us have had to cut down on things that we, I like to show naturally. I like to go on social media, dance, go on vacation, show videos, show this. But I, I got a lot of attack the last time I did that because a lot of people were sensitive to the fact that things are not okay here, but you're traveling. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, things are not okay here, but you're going on vacation, which is I'm not your government. I'm not your politician. I'm a private individual doing my hustle. I show my hustle as well as I show my groove. But that is the sensibility of the people that are around. So what do I do? It's also to tone down. Honestly, I'm taking some measures to tone. You will not, I'll go on vacation, nobody will see anything. That's me trying to tone down. Not because I'm afraid, but I'm just feeling, um, can we wait a little till things just get a little better for everyone else? It's just me being sensitive. So if a business is called out, there's this uh, advert they did, uh, is it bread or something? something? It's one bank like that. Yes. Yes. They go and use the, the cross rising. or something to do yes. that. And they were called out and they had to take it down. Yes. That's also trying to be sensible to the plight of the people. Mm -hmm. But however, the anger mm -hmm. that we are showing can we channel it to the right things? It's not mm -hmm. about being angry. That one I agree with. The second one of turning down, I, I'm still trying to understand <laughs> it. My darling, I have yes, to. I'm okay. trying to understand. Mm -hmm. So Please, um, try. I, there's the point of if you do something wrong and you're called out on it or you're given a feedback um, and you agree with the feedback, you should respond to it and apologize. Mm. The conversation we're having here is to determine if that feedback is right or wrong. Mm. So we'll give Bowen their own chance. But the reason we're having this conversation today is we're looking at the tweets that came under that post and we're trying to determine if they were right or if they were wrong. And in my opinion, they were wrong. Now, everybody has, here is talking about 
poor people or people who are unable to afford um, private universities. And we forget, and, and, and when we make this about people who are unable to afford private universities, we're taking the blame away from the federal government and its inefficiencies with ASU. Because the people, these children were in these schools. The reason they are on strike is not because they could not afford the schools that are on strike, it's because the federal government and ASU have had a difference in you know, how to, how to um, proceed and children are at home. If it was that we're talking about children who wanted to go to university, any sort of university, and we're not giving any chance in Nigeria or any alternative, then I feel that your conversation or your opinion would, you know, would hold water. As far as I'm concerned, it does not hold water in this case. Because they are not at home because they are unable to afford the federal universities. They are at home because our federal, federal government have refused, to sort out, yes, have refused to sort out the problem. We have people abroad mm -hmm. who... Because of how expensive tuition is, mm. they don't go to universities immediately. Or when they go, they get loans. Or they get, go get some jobs and go to university. And they are living their lives. And they are not angry and they are not bitter. Mm. Every day, their parents are pushing them to, to, to walk through whatever challenges mm -hmm. they are facing and, you know, and make it. That they, are going, that they are going to private university also does not determine that they are better than anyone. I just mentioned that, and this came out, University of Lagos is not a private university. It's the first. The second university was not a private university. The third was a private university, the fifth, until the fourth, there's a private university. These are federal universities, and they are one, two, three best universities in Nigeria. Let me let so you hold your thoughts, oh. you know, and I know. Um, um, point, but we have a call. Shego has called from London. I've kept you holding for a while. Welcome to the show, Shego. Good morning. I think we're having issues with the audio downstairs. Is, 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 yeah. <coughs> we cannot hear Shego. Okay, may I so, say something? No, no, no. Maya, Maya was making a point, and I think yeah, she, she, she was. She's landed no, she did not land. She has landed. Yeah. Do you know why oh, they want me to land? <laughs> the cold water has entered there, but let me land. Can I finish? Yeah. So, what oh, I was what trying to say mm. is that. So, I shake legs. So. See, <laughs> this, these universities that I mentioned, these best universities, children who can afford private universities are in those schools. The children who can afford private universities are also and still there. are just there. different reasons. There are some children who are in some of these universities because of a course in that school. Mm. I also do not want us to raise people who are constantly looking at others who have more than them or at this time better than them and feeling that how dare you have what you have and be happy about what you have Great, please. and thrive because of what you have. We love it. It is not. We love it. Let's stay on that point can for I a while. See, can I respond? No, 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 let's no, not you respond. respond. You have made a point. <laughs> <laughs> let's see, because I, you want I, to drive. I, I've been preparing a response every time. I yeah, but you have been uh, I eventually leave it to something else. Uh, but Nima, you have been talking for so long. Let no, me so, finish making her point. Yeah. <laughs> I'll come to you. Uh, okay. That's okay. So all I was trying to say is, we, um, we have, I, I mentioned that in Nigeria here, we have people who say they go to polytechnics, mm. um, people who go to colleges of education, and I've seen people who have come from different, these different um, schools, um, higher institutions, and have done amazing with their lives, and have fantastic experiences. Let us allow people in their different experiences. The fact that um, ASU is on strike today, and those students are at home, is a sad situation. But there are experiences that children in uni regular government universities have that people in um, private universities do not have. have. Should they be, the children in private universities now be bitter about that? I want us to stay on what is the issue. The issue with ASU, with, with Nigerian students being at home, is ASU and the federal government. And let us be on that. It is not the fault of parents who cannot afford to pay for private university or those who choose not to go to, um, to private universities. I'll give you one minute to respond, but I want us to now draw, um, draw a conclusion from the two topics of communication. Mm -hmm. But let me let you respond I'm to... I'm going to respond in one minute to a five-minute <laughs> point. Okay. So this is what I'm trying to say here. I have not said 18 on people who have a means mm, is, right. is right. That's not the point I made here. And in the beginning of my point here, a fact was established that the strike is not due to Boeing, but between ASU and the federal government. That was established. Now, some people are suffering as a result of the ineptitude of government, which I said mm. initially. They want a way out. What is Boeing cheap? 
Is it for free? Mm -hmm. No, it is not. And not everybody in that bracket can afford it. Mm. To say a tweet like that is to remind the person who cannot afford it that this is where you should be. Mm. And that person can't afford it. You can learn, even if you are entitled to what you have earned, to be sensible, which is also the point BC made. Mm. All that we have Bowen should be uh, friends went to Bowen. Major went to Bowen. We are not hating on anybody. I'm mm. saying, even if you have earned that right, it's just like NEPA and generator sellers in this country. <laughs> That's the example we are making here. Mm -hmm. It's like the generator sellers say, the power sector is bad, we cannot help you, but we are selling them and we must sell. That's what we are saying. That's the example here. Mm -hmm. Some people cannot afford candles. It's a fact. Some people know how unsafe it is to have candles in their house, but they cannot afford better. It is a fact. Mm -hmm. Every time there's a rich person, there's a poor person, that's why there's a distinction between both. Mm -hmm. That's what we are saying here. And the I get your point. And the right. I get your point. Nobody's distracting from the fact that the federal government brought this one. Yeah. But we're now. asking Bowen yeah. as a business yeah. to be sensible okay. to the plight of people so around there. I, I hear Not everyone, everybody all of you, can afford them. All of you. Okay. Actually, everybody here, on every point made, you are actually right. Mm. Yes, um, businesses should be more sensitive. Yes, individuals should be more sensitive. Yes, um, we should not become bitter mm. and allow that bitterness <clears throat> affect how we read everything that happens. Because right now, Nigerians are wearing a lens of bitterness and, and, and anger. Yeah, and everything, everything they read, yeah. it is from that, we, they are lashing out with that. And that is a valid point. Um, every one of you have made valid points. And I think uh, that we must that not... Point is not whole out. They, <laughs> for some <laughs> people, at, at that time, is that time. Mm. You know, so I feel no, that it's important no, we hear. They said it too. Oh, go. <laughs> we'll let's let's hear what people are saying. What are people saying on Twitter? Um, so uh, I have Grace Goit says, I for one feel Bowen is sending a message to the federal government, not necessarily mocking the students. The federal government should wake up and meet the demands of ASU and stop politicking with everything. Enough is enough of their insensitivity to the masses. All right. Um, Mishak yeah. says, Bowen is not offering scholarship to those that cannot afford it. Though. Thank you. Even if you want to sell your market, which, which scholarship have you provided for those that cannot afford it? Um, Olubi says, I agree with Miriam that Bowen is taking, is talking to different people. Maybe some are just planning to get admission to university that they should consider ASU strikes that can disrupt education. All right, that's all this that we can do for today's <laughs> show. Uh, why are you running? Yeah. Because we have who wants to be oh, a okay. millionaire. Oh. Stay with us.